Hello everybody, I uh, figure that the first video is always going to be the hardest one because I've got absolutely no idea how to start it. So basically, I figure if I get this one out of the way then I might actually be able to get somewhere with this. Um, so, where to start? Okay, first and foremost, I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one is I want to basically try to inspire some people. Um, you know, as I read once, that sometimes somebody will hear your story and that'll give them the one thing that they need to actually take a step up and a little step forward in their life um, because they see that somebody else is actually like them or has a similar sort of struggle. So I figured, hey, why the heck not? Uh, secondly, um, well, hey, I like being on camera. Why, why not? So let, let's give it a go. Give myself an audience, hopefully. Um, so basically, the idea being is a little bit of uh, inspiration, a little bit of um, entertainment, um, a little bit of chitter chatter, uh, and just a little bit of just random uh, stuff here, there, and everywhere as well. Um, okay, so. A um, little bit about me, um, overweight, currently weigh about 96 kilos, um, I've been all the way down to about 75 in the not too distant past, uh, managed to go completely off the rails again, um, partially due to um, some stuff that happened in my life, but basically, you know, when it comes down to the crunch, uh, I'm the one that controls what goes in my mouth, so... Comfort eater, very, very, very much so. Um, and I've basically reached a point where I have decided that I have to take back control of my life, take control of my eating, basically take control of all of those habits, get myself in shape, and keep there. So that's probably the third factor uh, of this is that I figure. If I'm making videos and trying to inspire people and entertain people at the same time, uh, one of the things that I'm going to have to do while I'm chronicling this is I'll actually have to pay attention to actually doing the right thing by my health. So basically, uh, the hope being is that by doing this, it gives me that little bit extra incentive to keep myself on track, which hopefully will also help other people as well. Okay. Okay, so what I've been doing so far, um, so step one, I've basically tried to cut as much of the big bads out of my diet as possible. Um, energy drinks are a terrible one for me. Uh, big on coffee, albeit it's arguable how good, bad, or indifferent that is. I was drinking black coffee though. Uh, so calories wise, it wasn't bad. Um, but the amount of energy drinks was horrific, so huge amounts of caffeine and sugar. Um, so first step was I've basically cut down the energy drinks and uh, I've replaced that with actual juice. Um, while a lot of people say yes, that's packed full of sugar as well. Yeah, it's, that is true, but baby steps, hey? Um, the big thing is, is though, there is some nutritional value in juice. Um, then there's a lot less weird and wonderful chemicals added to it as well. So I figure, you know, if I take a step away from the energy drinks, yes, it's still giving me a fair whack of sugar, but at least there's some nutritional value there, and it's a step in the right direction, and then I can start cutting it back from there without my body going through a massive shock of, oh my God, what the heck has this guy done to me? Um, the other is I've started pre-planning my lunches, so uh, rather than basically just going with whatever the heck happens to be available or going to the shop and buying something or just being as unhealthy as humanly possible, um, I've started making like box salad um, and then putting some sort of meat with it or something else just to sort of, you know, make me sort of feel like I'm actually getting something other than leaves. Um, <laughs> Um, I'll actually do a video showing my salad at some point, um, just so that uh, to give a bit of uh, ideas and inspiration for anybody who's not used to doing salads, because I'm sure a lot of people who are actually in a um, uh, bad eating habits aren't really big on salad. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
website, salads, energy drinks, that's a big one, those are the big ones really, um, and then obviously serving sizes, so I'm not putting too much emphasis on my serving size at the moment, uh, trying to basically avoid just eating for the sake of eating and just having so much, it's uh, ridiculous. Um, what else? Is, is as a comfort eater, I snack, uh, let's be real about this, uh, unless you've got a will of iron, which, let's face it, if you're overweight, you probably don't. Um, you'll want to basically try to make it as easy as possible for yourself at the same time. Um, I've made sure that I've got plenty of fruit, um, I even get some like the tin fruit salads, things like that as well. Um, just for the variety factor, uh, try to avoid the really bad ones. Try them until you find one that you actually like. Um, actual fresh fruit, much better. Um, protein bars, some of those are actually really nice, some of them are horrible. And <laughs> uh, I love fish as well, so I've also got a fair bit of frozen fish sort of in the freezer so that I can sort of cook that up at a, at a you know, short notice. Um, if I'm feeling particularly hungry, uh, it's a good quality lean protein. Um, also means that I actually have to go to the effort of going to the freezer for, you know, and doing whatever I need to do to actually get it prepped and cooked. So uh, most of them you can actually cook from frozen. So, um, yeah, it also just means that, you know, if I can't be, go, can't be bothered to actually go and get it and cook it, then I'm not that hungry. So, it's also a good way of avoiding eating extra stuff. I uh, don't know how good or bad popcorn is, but I occasionally have popcorn as well. Just, hey, look, it's really good. Nice. Just don't put butter and rubbish on it. Just keep it clean. All right, so basically, uh, to be fair, I've actually been um, trying to do this for a while. Um, so most recent attempt, so hopefully this one sticks. Um, so uh, essentially for the last week, I've been getting up about half an hour earlier, so about six o'clock in the morning at the moment, um, and going for a walk. Uh, so so far that seems to be uh, going reasonably well for me um, as well as having my salads for lunch um, and I've also started um, I've got some affirmations positive affirmations running while I sleep as well so trying to get my head in a better space uh, for, for the whole thing you know, sort of like trying to improve my life on a more holistic level the hardest part of this entire thing actually I think is really uh, trying to figure out a name for the for my channel which is like what the heck do you call yourself you know <clears throat> obviously by the time you see this I'll have actually chosen a name but you know what would really be good is if you could like magically put your thing up and say hey what should I call this you know it would be really nice and there you go oh, okay so I've got these suggestions because this is the way it worked yeah, and everybody says, yeah, call it this, it's perfect. Yeah, but unfortunately you've actually got to like, have an aim first so that you can actually set the dang thing up. Like, seriously. Yeah. How do people come up with names? I'm like doing random generators and stuff, and it's, it's like, yeah, they're cool, but it's just like I'm looking at it, it's like, nah, it doesn't feel right. Nah, it doesn't feel right. Nah, it doesn't feel right. And I look at that and it's like, nah, too complicated. <laughs> Now I start getting like these really cool looking names and it's like nobody will even understand what the heck that means. It's like a like 98% of potential audience because it's like I need like philosophy and like Latin like majors to basically be able to actually understand the statement. It's like come on. Crystal Ball look into the future now. That 
We have all seen tales that have been put up of people who've basically gone from zero to hero, uh, depression to joy, um, nothing to everything, have basically gotten all their dreams, the whole works. You know, a lot of them have become motivational speakers, huge businessmen, CEOs, the whole works. Now, one of the major things though is quite interesting is you very rarely see somebody who's basically gone, okay, um, here I am at the zero point and let's get ourselves and show, if we, as, as it happens, uh, actually getting there, you know. I'm certain part of the reason why that's not done is because, well, it doesn't work for everybody, as well as the fact that telling the tale of how it happened is probably slightly more exciting than the process of it happening. Um, but that's what I'm going to do here. So interestingly, what we will hopefully see is a guy going from overweight, struggling with all sorts of weird and wonderful issues of his own, oh my lord, um, who's actually working a job that he likes, but ultimately I'm pretty sure it's not my dream um, to finally getting to the point where I'm in really great shape um, best shape of my life and will have found the dream lifestyle you know the the thing that ultimately brings me joy every day of my life and that is one of those things that I'd like to show and actually take people on the journey with is basically say, hey, look, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy, you know, I'm just like the rest of you, you know, let's see, you know, can all this stuff work, you know, will, will we make it there, you know, come with me on the journey.